Hornaday just didn't get a start that time, he Phil. Sure didn't. He's falling all the way back outside the top ten. Oh, and around goes Johnny Sauter. John King got in the back of him, and Sauter goes into the wall. He'll collect his teammate, Matt Crafton, as they come to the start-finish line. We will have another restart. They did not receive the white flag before Sauter got around and into the wall. Depends on when the white flag got, got thrown. Displayed. We see hard damage on the 81 of David Starr. John King. Brendan Gons, South Point, Chevrolet with a tremendous amount of damage. John King, Todd Bodine, Timothy Peters, Joey Coulter, Justin Lofton. They're your top five. Look at your race leader. Obviously frustrated, had a chance to win here at Daytona. I talked about, you said it, he, he, he doesn't do this a lot, hasn't been here before. We talked about when he was going to push Jason White, you know, you got to be worried about John King. Yellow did come out before the white. Look at the damage to the 82. That's Grant Enfinger. He has smoke coming out from under that truck. Take another look. Will NASCAR do anything with John King? Uh, was was Todd Bodine pushing John King and push him into Johnny Sauter? Was Johnny Sauter moving up to try to block John King? Who knows what, what all happened there? Look at all the trucks that got collected. It looked look. like John King was going to the outside of Johnny. No, nah, he just got a hose back in from the wrong angle. Yeah and turned him sideways. Todd had rooted his way down to the bottom of the racetrack and there's two Thor Sport trucks clobbering each other. The last thing a owner wants to see yeah. is his trucks running into each other. A lot of damage, a lot of parked trucks right at the exit of the trioval. NASCAR is gonna red flag the race. That means they're going to take the time, stop all of the trucks just out of turn number four and clean this up. A lot of trucks involved in this most recent incident. And how about Ty Bodine emerges with the lead? And look who slipped through another one. Ty Dillon. <laughs> he makes another great move down on the bottom of the racetrack to miss all that mess. Attrition becoming a big factor in the possibility of winning this race. White. He just made a mistake from the back, from the back, uh, back side of Johnny Sauter and turned him around. Inexperience, just... Take a look at our, our flag person up here. The white flag and then the yellow came out. They did not come to the start finish line to receive the white flag. The yellow came out before. That's some pretty fancy flag in there. There it was. Had the white one going, but had to get the yellow one out instead. I'm not sure there might have been a little bit of contact from behind from the from the 11 of Todd Bodine into I, John King. Yeah, I think you're right, Phil. It looked as though Todd Bodine maybe gave John King a little shove. He then moved up and really didn't know what to do. I'm sure that was a situation where, do I hit the 13? Do I try to save this truck? And it happened so quickly. John King was out to the right side of Johnny Sauter. I don't, there wasn't really a whole lot of a reason to be there.